Hello, my name is August Engelbrecht. I'm at the Dean's office in the Faculty of Engineering. I will be your host this evening. Goeienaand, it is my pleasure to welcome you, our prospective engineering students for 2023. And also a big welcome to your mom and dad. Our program will hopefully give you a good taste of what to expect and how to be prepared when you land at Marty Land next year. You will hear from our Dean, from, a, from an engineer who is a CEO of a major bank. You'll also hear some important voices, the voices of our students, our student leaders. You will also meet someone who will be instrumental in supporting your journey as a first year student. But first up, to give you a glimpse of the Faculty of Engineering and what you can expect next year is our Dean, Professor Vikas van die Kerk. Goeiedag, good day. Welcome to the Faculty of Engineering. My name is Vikas van die Kerk and I'm currently the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering. We are situated in the picturesque town of Stellenbosch and we have our own campus situated about one block away from the main campus. We are so happy to have this conversation with you, our prospective new first years, and we have to congratulate you because you are part of a very, very select group. We had more than 6,000 applications and we only have 750 places available for next year. At our faculty, we have six fully accredited engineering degree programs. We have one in chemical, civil, electrical and electronic engineering with a specialization center in data engineering, also industrial, mechanical and megatronic engineering. All our engineering programs are accredited by the Engineering Council of South Africa or EXA, which is part of the Washington Accord. That means that the degree from Stellenbosch University is recognized in many international countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, for the registration as a professional engineer. Just some numbers about the Faculty of Engineering. We have 2,900 undergraduate students and 1,200 postgraduate students. We typically graduate close to 600 bachelors of engineering degrees in a year. And last year, we had a record number for the university, 57 PhD graduates in the Faculty of Engineering. We take in about 750 students. We can take up to 790. Our undergraduate success rate is 72%. That means that 72% of the students who enter engineering will graduate after four, five, or six years. This does not mean that those who do not graduate leave Stellenbosch without a degree. They may transfer into one of the other degree programs, for instance, a bachelor's in science. We have a very high record of success, um, especially if you consider the 44% success rate in other engineering faculties in South Africa. About 40% of our intake will graduate in four years. We are also working towards a much more diverse undergraduate student body in the Faculty of Engineering. In 20 22, 19% of our new first years were black and 11% were brown and 3% um, from the Indian population. We always have questions about the language of tuition at Stellenbosch University. In the Faculty of Engineering, it is possible to graduate with a degree in engineering in a fully English environment. However, if you are Afrikaans speaking, <coughs> we are also accommodating you in various ways. By voorbeeld, in the first semester, in the first year, we have both Afrikaans and English groups. And we have to ask Afrikaans speaking students to join in the Afrikaans groups. In the second year, we still have parallel medium in Afrikaans and English for the larger modules, but then we slowly change over to a system where all the lectures are only available in English. However, 
you are always allowed to answer any question paper in the either Afrikaans or English, and all our exams and tests are set in both languages. Another feature of our first year at Stellenbosch is that we have a common first year between all the different programs, except for those students who want to specialize in data engineering. In both semesters, we take engineering maths and applied mathematics. There's some chemistry, drawing, and physics in the first semester. And in the second semester, some computer programming, electric techniques, and strength of materials. At the end of the first year, if you have passed all your modules, you can change without any questions being asked from civil engineering to mechanical or electrical. It is only students who started in data engineering who will have some difficulties changing into another program. But for our mechanical, electrical, mechan megatronic, civil and chemical engineering students, you can switch between them, no questions asked. As I said, you are part of a very select group and Stellenbosch is fortunate to get the best matriculants to come and study engineering at Stellenbosch University. You will see there that a very high percentage of our students, about 30%, will have an average of more than 75%. You have to be prepared to come and study engineering at Stellenbosch because it is difficult. There is a big difference between what happens at school and what happens at university. So typically schools are located in some province and, and in a national context, but Stellenbosch University compete in an international playing field. Therefore, we have to adhere to international standards in all our programs. At school, you may have been a big a big fish in a small pond, however, at the university, you might actually be one of the smaller fishes in a much, much larger pond. Our standards are high and we want to remain, uh, we want to keep our standards high because that makes our degree competitive in the world. There are many distractions at university and you are encouraged to take part in some of them but you will have to be very careful of how you manage your time to make sure you apply your mind and your time correctly to pass your engineering studies. Of course, there are many concerns when you come to Stellenbosch. For instance, people say engineering is difficult and university costs a lot of money. And therefore, will I be successful and will I be able to maintain the balance between work and play? In order to help you to make some of these judgments, myself and our Vice Dean, Professor Celeste Fillion, regularly meets with the first year students in the first semester. During these Dean's periods, we address many of your concerns, we help you with study methods, we explain how the assessment system works at the university, and we try to equip you to make the right choices to be a successful engineering student. We also have additional support available in the faculty um, that we that augments the other um, support that we have um, in the university. Professor Pfalun, as I said, is our Vice Dean Teaching and Learning. That is her email address if you want to um, make contact with her. We also have Miss Natalie White. Ms. White's main role at our faculty is to take care of our students and you are encouraged to approach her with any concerns that you have, whether they are academic or whether they are personal or with relationships. She knows where to direct you, where you can find help. We also have two educational psychologists that works part-time in the faculty and our students can make uh, make use of their services at no charge. You have to make these arrangements through Ms. White. We also have additional group sessions in the evenings to help you to find a study buddy. One of the 
Best measures to ensure that you are a successful engineering student is to become part of a study group. And these study sessions that we organize in the evenings is designed so that you can meet and work with other fellow engineering students. However, it has to come from both ways. It is a difficult degree and you have to work hard. You need to be self-disciplined, Integrity is very, very important. At the end of the day, we are all becoming engineers and engineers play a very responsible role in society. And therefore, ethical behavior needs to be established right from the start in your engineering st studies. Of course, we want you to become a very mature person f at your, um, during your studies here at Stellenbosch. And most importantly, you have to accept the responsibility for your own academic success. When you come to Stellenbosch, obtaining your Bachelor's of Engineering degree should be your main priority. And all the other activities that you partake in, that should become secondary to your main studies. It's also important that you maintain in contact with your parents and your guardians. They have played a very supportive role to bring you to where you are now, and we want you to maintain that contact. We also want to encourage your families to help you deal with some of the challenges that you will have, that you will face here at Stellenbosch. We want to make sure that you keep them up to date on how you are progressing, and we encourage all of you to aim high. We will try and keep your parents and guardians informed about your progress and what happens at the university. But under the Papia Act, we also have certain responsibilities that there are some information that we cannot share without your permission. So what is the reward? The reward is a quality of degree that is recognized throughout the world. You will become an engineer. You will have the ability to solve hard technical problems. You will also open up through your engineering degree a vast array of different job opportunities. Not all engineers end up in mechanical or electrical engineering that they were trained in. Some even end up as being the CEOs of banks. You will learn how to deal with different um, technical challenges and through your hard work, you will be able to be a very successful and contributing member of the working world. If you need more information, you can find it at the contact details as displayed on the screen. We have Mr. August Engelbrecht as our main contact for prospective students. And I know that he's always available and busy on all the different devices, WhatsApp, Signal, LinkedIn, and all these other wonderful places that you will meet him. You're also welcome to send him email at august at sun.ac.za. There is also the number for the university's client service center. And of course, our website is always available for additional information. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. Baie dankie dat jylle na hierdie aanbieding geluister het. We really look forward to meet all of you next year when you start your engineering studies at Stellenbosch University. As a team, we will all work together to make sure that you are very successful and complete your degree in the shortest possible time. Thank you. The Faculty of Engineering was established in 1944, so we are 78 years young. But we are already one of South Africa's major producers of top quality engineers. Our engineers make a huge difference not only in the economy in South Africa, but around the world. We have engineers that make sure that South Africa keeps keeping contact with the rest of the world and to keep us at the forefront of the latest technologies. One such engineer is the CEO of First National Bank, Mr. Jacques Sillier. Now Jacques Sillier is an engineer 
that qualified at Stellenbosch University. But he's also a parent of two engineering students. They are currently in our faculty. So let's hear the experience of Mr. Silier. Uh, good day all, my name is Jacques Silier. I'm the Chief Executive of uh, First National Bank and privileged to spend some time with you uh, today with a little bit of a focus on, on education. As an enterprise uh, trying to navigate uh, the complexities of value propositions and, and, uh, and requirements from our customer perspective, both at individual levels or enterprise levels, I think you can all appreciate that uh, our worlds have become unbelievably complex. You know, today's banking sector and insurance sector and investment management sector has absolutely become an engineering topic. You know, it's, uh, it is true that we need access to top talent from all the disciplines, you know, whether it's commerce, engineering and technology, even the arts uh, and legal, obviously. Uh, we, we are blessed uh, that our country delivers such good talent from an engineering and, and technology perspective that we can absorb in our enterprises. You know, we work in, a, in an industry that really is competing with the Amazons of the world and the Ubers of the world. And, the, you know, it's, it's, it's the Googles of the world. And, uh, and to, to be able to get uh, solutioning done in, the, in, in those contexts, you know, having access to top talent, uh, we've been really brought through the system uh, that our, our institutions in, uh, in, in South Africa produces on an annual basis is an unbelievable privilege for us as, um, as, as a participant in our local economy. I myself as a graduate from, from Stellenbosch University and at the moment I have my two uh, eldest children are studying um, engineering at Stellenbosch. It's by no means a guarantee that, uh, that you know, this foundation gives you a future in, in financial service itself, but what I can say is that you know, talent that gets through the engineering disciplines uh, not only have been able to demonstrate that they truly are capable of dealing with complexity and the numbers and the technology challenges and the late nights, they really are foundational um, frameworks and, 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 and challenge to demonstrate someone's ability to navigate complexity. The second thing is that the versatility that it's really uh, been able to demonstrate across industries. So today kids would work, young people would work in, in, you know, in a bank today and tomorrow they work in a retailer um, because of the versatility that this level of, of, uh, of education gives them. And clearly it's important to get some foundations post the, the degree, but at the, uh, from where we, our vantage point is clearly um, engineering is an unbelievable foundation into all industry uh, types uh, um, in play at the moment. So good luck with your selections and your choices. Um, but certainly from our perspective, thank you very much also to the faculty for the great work they do to, to keep our programs current and relevant and uh, without which we wouldn't be able to compete on a global stage with our innovations. Now, first years or prospective first years, you have heard from the Dean that engineering can be challenging you can work hard and then you can play hard. You will be challenged as an engineering student. So if you do your part as a student with the support of mom and dad or your guardian from home, how does the Faculty of Engineering support you in this journey to become an engineer? Well, you might have fears. You might have asked yourself, is this really for me? Should I? Will I? Well, if you have those concerns, let us be open and honest with you. Let us put you at ease. The Faculty of Engineering will support you to realize your dream. So how are we going to do that? Well, one way to do that is to have someone within the Dean's office that's at the forefront of helping our first years. Her name is Natalie White. So I will have a discussion with Natalie now and find out exactly what are some of the support systems that's available within the Faculty of Engineering. So Natalie, I'm very happy to have a chat with you. Um, you are responsible for student support in the Dean's office. 
And so these first years that will be arriving in 2023, uh, you will be the one that, that are at the forefront of their support. So just tell us, Natalie, what kind of support is available to our first years? Well, we've got lots of support that we offer our first years, but the main two things that we do is we offer academic support and we offer emotional and psychosocial support. Okay, so if you talk about academic support, uh, what typical problems um, do you encounter uh, from students and what do you normally recommend? So they have a range of problems that students often encounter, but, and it differs from student to student. But majority of our students will present with things like time management issues and study skills that they're lacking. Uh, the difference between uh, the adjustment between students coming to uh, university from high school. Um, all of those things are things that we would generally then refer them to our in-house educational psychologists. We have two educational psychologists who are very well skilled in assisting our students with a majority of the problems which are related to academics. Um, and then we have other things that we will refer the students to their lecturers for um, or to the um, study groups because those things are more module specific. So yeah, we have a, a range. Oh, that's great, that's great. So if a student need more than just academic support, there's other issues involved, what do you do then? Well, the other issues, it's again, another range. So there could be things like uh, emotional support um, that is required, maybe high levels of anxiety not related to uh, exams and study. Maybe it can be uh, depression, um, there are lots of other things that can, there may be substance abuse, there are lots of things that we also then refer our students to our Centre for Student Counselling and Development, the CSCD, um, where they have counsellors who assist our students with things that are maybe a little bit more pressing than just their academics, because all those things do play a role in how our students perform. Mm, that's great, that's great. Any, any, um, how do you refer students that have uh, learning disabilities or is there any concessions that um, also exist? We do offer concessions for students that have learning disabilities. Sometimes the, the disability is something along the lines of visual impairment or hearing impairment. And in that situation, we will um, send them to our disability unit for assistance there. We will also advise them how to possibly go through the process of extra writing time um, if this is a requirement. We also have students who require extra writing time for things like um, injuries or for ADHD. Um, all of these things are given assistance and students just need to come and speak to me and we will then have a discussion and refer them as, as required. Excellent. Natalie, so earlier you spoke about the facilitated working groups. Um, tell us more about that. Does it mean that there is individualized tutoring or what, what do you mean with the study groups? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring for our students. We do um, want our students to form study groups um, and work together with other students. It helps them with the core learning of being a, an, a good engineer, which is to problem solve. So there's a reasonable amount of pressure that is required um, from our program and also of our students. So this is something that we, we can't then re let them rely on one-on-one -on -one tutoring. So we have these group facilitated learning sessions that we offer our students in the evenings most of the time for most of the main first year modules. Okay. And this is run in both the first semester and the second semester. Excellent. And, and that's obviously where you use our senior students, like our masters and PhD students, to assist our first years also. Absolutely. So, Natalie, just a, a last question. What would you say is the last piece of advice that you have for our prospective 2023 intake? The last piece of advice that I have for our students would definitely be 
to make use of all of the opportunities that they are given. Um, one of those opportunities is in the coming weeks, our students are going to be getting um, a notification from the university as to whether or not they were successful uh, with the application. And then in that notification, they will also get information about the welcoming program and the onboarding program. The onboarding program is an online program that they will do. Um, it gives the students a taste of our SunLearn platform because that is what will be used for the majority of their study. Um, and then also it will be a space where students can learn about who they will be encountering when they come to university. Um, it's, it's just a good space to, to make use of. So that's the onboarding. And then the welcoming is in person. And that is at the beginning of the year. And we'd love for our students to absolutely come to that. A lot of students miss out and then they seem a little lost when they start the program. And we'd really like them all to feel welcomed. And that is why we have welcoming. Excellent. So you would recommend onboarding, but also very important welcoming. Natalie, thank you very much for this discussion. It is, it is um, I'm, I'm sure the students and their parents feel really relieved that our faculty have in place support systems to, for their kids and so on. So thank you very much for the conversation. So you've heard from so many speakers thus far. You've heard from the Dean, you've heard from an industry leader, You've heard from Natalie White, the one that will support you uh, when you're at the Faculty of Engineering. But what does our students say? Our current students, what do the leaders of amongst our students say? We've asked them to have a little bit of a discussion about their experiences at Stellenbosch University. Why it is worthwhile to come and study engineering. How do you strike a balance between working hard and having a lot of fun. Let's hear their voices. Hello, bye bye, welcome, so much here today. Um, hello, everyone, very welcome. Today, we are a panel of very experienced and skilled students that are hopefully going to convince you that, um, you know, Stellenbosch is the place that you need to be next year. Uh, with us today, as you guys can see, engineering is a traditionally male dominated industry. So um, I chose a, a, a really representative uh, panel of students today to ensure that you guys see that is not the case anymore. Um, so today we have Elaine, Matt and Pia. Uh, we've all served on the Engineering Student Council this year, um, but Matt and Pia will also be serving on the Engineering Student Council next year. So they will be the people to look out for uh, when you guys do arrive at Stellenbosch next year. So um, getting started, uh, I think covering residence life is probably one of the most important factors as all students will probably be either in residence or private accommodation. So Elaine, do you think you can give us a little bit of a insight into you know, residence life and what students can expect? So when you get accepted into a residence, you basically interact with not only your residence um, but your house committee as well. So your house committee is in charge of your overall student well-being whilst you're in that residence. Um, they will have portfolios that cater to you, such as sports, socials, and dances as well, which many students love. Um, and they're also the connection between the main campus and the residence itself. So, I mean, if you're not in a residence, you can also be in a private student organization, which is where you'll be added if you are in a private accommodation. So that allows you to also interact with the residences in variety of sports and culture, that type of stuff. Um, but if you're not into that kind of vibe, that is also okay. Uh, Pia, you've been in private accommodation since you've been in Salambosch. Do you think you can give the students an idea of how that was, how that has been for you? Definitely. So I've actually lived in an apartment by myself since the beginning of my university career, way back in 2020. And that's been an interesting experience. Of course, living alone comes with additional responsibilities like having to manage your money, buying groceries, where to get the cheapest things. Um, but I'd say that learning to be independent while still protected by this university field and just this dome of you're in a student town things are going to be accommodated for you, you're going to be fine. I feel like it's a really um, 
smooth transition coming from high school. So I've thoroughly enjoyed that. That is really, really good to hear. So, um, I mean, obviously a lot of first years get to Stellenbosch not having a car. Um, Matt, do you think that'll prohibit them in any way, inhibit them from getting to the places where they need to go? Absolutely not. Um, I get around for the majority of the time on foot. Um, one of my favorite parts about Stellenbosch is how close everything is together and how easy it is to walk. Uh, in addition, um, everything's very safe. So I walk around almost any time of the day um, and I'm completely fine. I walk to the shops, walk to uni, walk to uh, walk back home. Yeah. Uh, Pia, do you think you can, you can attest to the safeness factor? Is there any other means of transport, if we can call it that, that students can use to get around? Definitely. So Stellenbosch actually offers a Marty's bike system where you can rent out a bicycle from the university for the year. And again, it's a student town, everything's in, in close proximity. So traveling by bike is perfectly sufficient. Um, Stellenbosch also offers a shuttle service if you're traveling slightly further distances. Um, so yeah, again, all accommodated for. So now that being said, obviously being an engineering student, there's an expectation that you'll be studying all the time. Um, but Stellenbosch also offers a variety of things completely unrelated to the university that you can do to entertain yourselves. Um, Elaine, do you want to give them a little bit of an idea of what they can expect? Sure. Um, so this university is basically a student town. So that means the students are the town and the town is the university itself. Um, so with that being said, um, it's town is infamously known as Little Europe. Um, so there's tons that you can do for fun, such as the restaurants that are available, little coffee shops, um, Matt. Yeah, um, mine's, my experience is a bit different to yours. Um, I am a very hands-on person and I love to make things. Um, and one of the things that engineering has taught me is the love for 3D models. And uh, I've got myself into 3D printing, which you can do through the, with, through the library, through the makerspace. And yeah, the skills that I've learned in first year and second year have really taught me a lot um, about 3D modeling. Pia, anything else that you want to add to that? I love the landscape of this town um, with mountains to hike and botanical gardens to visit, just beautiful things to see. There really is nothing um, to not do. There's so much to see. Now, I can attest to that. So my favorite thing to do in Stellenbosch is to visit the copious amount of coffee shops that they have. There is so many coffee shops and ice cream stores that you'll literally be able to eat ice cream every single day of your life and never be bored. Um, it's, it's really quite amazing. And uh, speaking on the hiking, I've done the Yonkershuk trails. I've also done the Helderbach trail. And it really is amazing that you can just grab a group of friends. You guys drive out to wherever you want to go that day and you just, you just do it. There's literally nothing keeping you back or holding you, um, you know, into a confined space. And engineering doesn't prohibit you from doing any of these things. Um, so I think to, to kind of end off this conversation today, I, I would like to know what your favorite, uh, let's say, student discount is, um, or if you have a potential tip that you want to give to the provisionally accepted students. Uh, Elaine, do you want to start us off? Okay. Um, so my favorite, favorite thing to do with my student discount is to pay for my online subscriptions. So they always have a student discount for online subscriptions. Matt? Um, yeah, as I said, I'm a very hands-on person and um, my mental health time or mental health recovery time is usually based on making things. And um, for me, that means that the Deco Edge is the perfect place to go. And as a student, you can get 15% off on almost any purchase that you make there. Pia? I really appreciate the discounts offered by most gyms. It's a really good opportunity to use your student privilege while staying fit and healthy. So on that, obviously, uh, Stellenbosch has, a, has their own gym, so it's called Marty's Gym, um, where you do get a student discount if you are a student at the university. I'm currently on that. I don't use it as often as I should, but it's definitely a good thing to look into when you get here as that just provides you some you know, escape from, from being an engineering student every now and then. Um, and yes, I can actually, I can agree with all of the, the things that they've mentioned. Um, I also actually enjoy going to the various restaurants because they all have not just student discounts, but just general specials being, you know, a student town. So, I mean, you can literally eat out every single night and you'll still remain within budget because of all of these specials. So being a student at Sonnenbosch, definitely something to enjoy and to come and experience. Um, yeah, I think that covers everything that we wanted to discuss with you guys today. Are you guys good? 
Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, we hope you've, you've been thoroughly um, entertained <laughs> and that you guys have decided to come to Stellenbosch next year. Um, Matt and Pia are very excited to meet all of you guys. So please do come to Stellenbosch, ensure that your metric marks are up to scratch and we'll see you guys next year. Thank you very much. So prospective engineering students, we've welcomed you at the beginning of the presentation. We told you what you can expect uh, when you arrive at the Faculty of Engineering next year. You've heard from the Dean. It is a worthwhile degree course to pursue. You've heard from industry on how industry view the quality of engineers that uh, land uh, in, their, in their respective offices. You've heard from our students what they say how you can strike a balance working hard and playing hard. You've heard from how we will support you in your journey at the Faculty of Engineering. So the ball is now in your court. We look forward to welcoming you at the Faculty of Engineering. All the best with the rest of your uh, few months um, of matric and all the best with the exams. And we are sure that you will reach the requirements to get a full acceptance at the University of Stellenbosch. We look forward to welcoming you. Thank you very much for joining us this evening.